My name is Simon Chapman, I'm the Specification Sales Manager for Daikin UK. This is our first Future Thinking event. The idea is for us to engage with a number of consultants, work with them to work on sustainable solutions for buildings in the future. Tonight's event is very much focused on low carbon technology. We're looking at the potential for solutions for future carbon reductions. By getting together to discuss the issues that we face and what we're aiming to achieve, we have the opportunity to pool a number of ideas and to come up with solutions for sustainable buildings of the future. Well, I'm Jeff Levermore. I come from Manchester, where I'm the Emeritus Professor of the Built Environment. My research area is looking at climate change in the built environment and the urban heat island. We're looking at the future and how buildings are affected by climate change and indeed how buildings affect the climate. The fact is that one third of all the world's emissions come from buildings. That's one third of all greenhouse gases in the world come from buildings. And in Europe, it's even slightly higher, it's about 40%. In some countries, it's even higher than that. More efficient air conditioning means less electricity is used, therefore less carbon dioxide is generated. And carbon dioxide is one of the primary greenhouse gases. Consultants face a number of challenges in terms of the various legislation and policies that are in place that they have to adhere to. These uh, legislative changes are very dynamic with many amendments that they have to work with. Ultimately there's a common aim for carbon reduction. The consultants have to be able to provide a plan for any building that they're proposing to show that it will be sustainable. The consultants need to be aware of all available technologies that they can implement within a building in order to achieve carbon reductions, to produce running cost savings for their clients and to stay in line with their, their clients' requirements. When considering the future of VRV technology, we need to be thinking not just about the comfort of the building in terms of heating and cooling, but also a holistic view of the building as a whole. We need to consider the integration of a range of services, including hot water provision, including ventilation, refrigeration, as well as comfort, cooling and heating for the environment. Well, we hope that the results will be some uh, upskilled and engaged engineers. We hope that it will be uh, a long-term process, which will mean that we develop our relationships and also end up working much closer with, uh, with consultants to deliver sustainable solutions. They get CPD accredited points. They, they broaden their knowledge of uh, products and, and issues within the industry. They'll also get to network with like-minded individuals. Yeah, it's uh, very interesting. I think it's, uh, it's certainly a, an area that doesn't have a lot of published data for building services engineers to uh, build into their design. Um, it's certainly a very interesting field to, uh, to explore. I think today, especially from Jeff Livermore, we found out how important it is to save energy and how much potential there is in buildings and building services industry to reduce the carbon emissions, energy consumption. So anything related to reducing the energy consumption and what we can do better for the planet, um, I think that would be, be extremely useful. I found quite interesting that now not only we can do variable flow systems but also variable temperature. I think that's something new in industry and surely you want to read more about it and uh, find out more to, so I can make use of it later in my work. I find it really interesting especially to find out that air source heat pumps are that efficient and that useful. I think that was the, the key thing that I took out from, from this seminar and I find it quite interesting so surely when I'm back home I would want to read more about it and maybe use it later in, in my work. This is the first of our, of our events and what we'll be looking to do is run a number of them over the, over the coming months. Um, the idea will be to um, challenge them, change their ideas, move them away from their comfort zone and also uh, encourage them to debate up and coming issues. 